Well, pour yourself a big, tall glass of your favorite cold beverage and get ready to be inspired because on today's episode, I have over 15 of my very favorite DIY outdoor decor ideas that cost just $5 and under. Let's go. If you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I'm here for you at Skip To My Life. For our first $5 DIY outdoor decor project, we're gonna pick up four picture frames from Dollar Tree. Now, I like to use the 11 by 14 frames for this project because they'll give it you the biggest window, but it's up to you in your space. So first, what you're gonna do is glue those four together use an adhesive that's really strong like Gorilla Glue and then simply spray paint them white with the 2X primer. You may wanna apply two or three coats of the primer. Some of that paint from those frames did soak through just a little bit. It didn't bother me for my particular project. This super simple $5 outdoor decor DIY project is the highlight of this area in my yard. I hung it over a window box and I change it seasonally. So while we're talking about window boxes, I just wanted to let you know that I use these little uh, hooks from Dollar Tree for all my window boxes, as well as the wrought iron fencing. If you're new to Skip To My Life, I am so glad we found each other. We love to have a community that's supportive and encouraging, and we're glad to have you along today. I had been wanting one of these decor garden bikes for a long time. If you know Olivia's romantic home, she has one of these in her garden, and so I decided to try my hand at this. My bike was very old. It had been salvaged from the curb to begin with, so I didn't really pay anything for it. I just took some of that 2X Rust-Oleum spray paint, it took me two cans, and I covered the whole frame and the tires of that bike. If you try this project, make sure you turn the bike upside down and get the underside of the frame as well. I decided I wanted to weatherproof the bike seat and also make it white, so I just covered it with a white trash bag. I really wanted the effect of one of those French market baskets mounted to the front of my bike, but I couldn't find one for the price I was looking for. So I took this leftover Easter basket and just painted it and distressed it a little. I cut the handles off with garden shears and then attached it to the front of that bike with some zip ties. If you're having fun watching this video and getting some great ideas, don't forget to let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. It really does help me know what content you all want me to do more of, and it really encourages my videos to go to the top of YouTube. So thank you so much for taking just a second to click that like button. And once again, I style this bike for every season and it has brought me so much fun. If you're looking for a whimsical addition to your deck or garden, I have just the project for you. It's using one of these $1.25 flamingos from Dollar Tree. And we're gonna start by cutting a slit in the top of the flamingo. Now this is very flimsy plastic, so it's not hard to do. Since we'll be painting this guy, it's really important to sand off any satiny finish on that whole object. And that's one takeaway I'm gonna give you from this video. Anything you're putting outside that you want to spray paint or paint a different color, it's really important that you sand off the finish of that object first to allow that paint to really adhere, especially in the out of doors. If you're coming back to Skip To My Life, a great big welcome. Thank you all so much for watching every video and commenting. Your comments mean the world to me and I try to respond to every single one of them. Now after we painted this cute little flamingo all black, I added some iridescent jewels as eyes. You'll notice that all the adhesive I'm using is E6000 or something like that. When you're creating decorative objects for the outside, do not waste your time using glue gun because it will not weather the test of time and everything will pop off. So after I glued these little eyes in place, I put a bit of painter's tape over them until they could dry securely. Mm -hmm. 
Next, it's time to really highlight that feather design with some dry brush chalk paint in white. Comment below and let me know, would you do a flamingo planter like this in black or would you choose a different color for your decor? Next, we're going to glue those flamingo legs in place. And if you look at pictures, you'll notice that most flamingos do not stand straight. They have that second leg cricked up. So we're gonna try to imitate that on this little planter. And I just loved the way this guy turned out. You probably have an old beat up chair laying around. I found this rocking chair at a thrift store for $5, but I've seen so many of these chairs in garage sales and just out on the curb on trash day. So next time you see something like this, try and imagine the project I'm gonna show you today. After I had spray painted the whole chair white, I taped off the cane seat on the chair and spray painted that part black. If you want the colors on this chair to stay nice and crisp, you're going to want to go over it with a heavy duty sealer. I've let mine weather over time and I love the look of it. Now we're gonna create a little spot to sit and reflect in the morning and have a cup of tea. So we're gonna take this bistro table. I found this one on the curb at Trash Day as well. And if you've been with me and skipped to my life for a while, you know I do this a lot. I have a friend and she and I go out on big trash days a lot and we look for things like this that we can redo. Next, I'm taking some contact paper from Dollar Tree and just chasing the outline of that table. When you subscribe to my channel, you have the opportunity to take some of the community polls that I take. And from the last poll that I took, I realized you all wanted me to do some coastal theme DIYs. So that will be coming up very shortly. If you have a window box or a big planter, you know how expensive it can be to buy plants to fill that whole space. So I'm gonna show you a little hack that I use in my backyard. I used only one live plant in this window box and that is a sweet potato vine. The rest of these plants can be used year by year and I can add to my collection each year. They're silk plants that I purchased at Dollar Tree and I've added a broken piece of china to just prop up that sweet potato vine so it will really spill out onto the whole window box. I wanted to also tell you three tried and true Dollar Tree seeds that are great space fillers for your garden and your large pots. And the first is this little Marvel pea. I use this every year from Dollar Tree. It makes beautiful sugar snap peas in the spring. Now it will fade out as summer and the heat comes, but it's a beautiful filler for your springtime. If you have a trellis or a wall that you want to cover with greenery, I recommend the Kentucky Wonder Bean. It is a climbing variety, and I use it to, to uh, cover my trellis every summer. It also produces beautiful beans, but I love the foliage. And the third seed from Dollar Tree that I recommend for a climber is their Morning Glory. Now, I believe they have two different varieties. I really wish they had more because this is a proven winner for me. If you have a large area that you wanna cover, this is the plant for you. You really don't even need to bury the seeds, just sprinkle them in your garden and they will take off. Now it will produce greenery and foliage for the early part of summer. And then at the late summer, you will get these gorgeous lilac colored blooms. The fun thing about morning glories is that they bloom once every morning and then they die out and you'll get new blooms the next day. So it's fun to go out and see what the day holds for you with your morning glory.
Here's an idea to display a really simple fairy garden. I was able to get a hold of an old antique wheelbarrow and I transformed it into this cute little fairy garden with Dollar Tree fairy garden items. Now, if you're wondering what to do with all those pieces, I glued them to lids of jars and candles and I was able to mount some moss on there. So each of these items looks like its own little house or village. If you're planning to do any outdoor entertaining this summer, or if you have a lake house or beach house, this is the perfect $5 and under project for you. You'll need one of the Lucite ice buckets from Dollar Tree, as well as a pair of Flamingo sunglasses. After you take off the sides of those sunglasses, you'll wanna separate the two flamingos. Now this was actually the hardest part of this project. And what I found that worked the best was to use a little hacksaw to uh, make score lines on either side and then just snap those flamingos apart. I did not wanna break them or crack them, so that's what works best for me. You'll see two lines on that ice bucket and we're going to be gluing our flamingo to the ice bucket right in the center. So it's a very easy way to center that piece. And then what we're gonna glue is the pieces that stick up on the back of each of those flamingos. Now I did put glue gun on this, but then I also added E6000. For the finishing touch, I'm adding some small pieces of silk florals as well as some Easter grass. Dollar Tree carries these novelty glasses throughout the year and it would be fun to make these type of ice buckets with different themes for different occasions like 4th of July and birthdays. For the next $5 and under outdoor DIY decor project, I'm starting with a tin sign that I already had. Now, you could use a Dollar Tree sign if you'd like as well, whatever you have or just a piece of wood, but I'm covering that with that Dollar Tree contact paper to make it watertight. Next, I just dressed that contact paper just a little with some white chalk paint and added some jute twine at the top and bottom of the sign. We'll be adding a Dollar Tree plastic thermometer and we can glue that to the jute twine to allow the air circulation around the back of the thermometer to really give us a good indication of the weather. Now I'm gonna tell you that this Dollar Tree thermometer is no joke. It really does give accurate temperatures and I've been wanting one of these right by my back door so I don't have to go outside to see how hot it is and now I feel very proud that I have one. I added some black chalk paint around the edges of that thermometer just to make it look a little bit more distressed and uniform. And I was so happy with my under $5 outdoor DIY decor project. I love to get your feedback, so don't forget to click that like button if you are enjoying this video and please subscribe. I would love to have you come along on our journey. Now, out of all these $5 and under DIY decor projects, I think the String Caddy is my absolute favorite. You all comment below and let me know what your favorite is. We're starting with a plastic book caddy from Dollar Tree, and we're just gonna make stripes by taping that off with painter's tape. Now, the areas that are exposed, I am going to be painting. So again, I'm going to remove that satiny finish with a nail file this time. Once I finish painting the stripes, I can remove that painter's tape. And next we're gonna bling it up just a little bit with some of the rhinestone ribbon from Dollar Tree. Now I have to tell you all a story about this drink caddy. When I finished it, I gave it to my mother-in-law for some occasion and she had a friend who came over and really admired it, so she gave it to her friend. So Jan, if you're watching today, I hope you are still enjoying your drink caddy. 
I'm just gluing that rhinestone ribbon over the white paint to really make it pop. And now we've got some beautiful, crisp, clean stripes on our drink caddy. Now, my original idea in making this was so I wouldn't have to make so many trips inside and outside to get napkins and straws and plates and cups and all those things we need when we have company or when it's just a small group and you wanna go outside and have a little snack. For the wire handle for this caddy, we are actually using one of the legs from the Flamingo. Now, this gauge of wire is very easy to bend. So I bent it in half and then I bent each side in half and it made the perfect size for this book bin. Next, I'm drilling two holes at the top of that book bin where the handle will be inserted. Next, I took pony beads from Dollar Tree and we are gonna bling up that handle. Now, if you don't have a drill or you don't like to use a drill, you can go ahead and use the tip of your hot glue gun to make holes in that plastic book bin. When you thread those pony beads through the wire, you're probably gonna wanna use some painter's tape on each end just to keep the beads from slipping off. And next, we'll just thread that wire through the hole in the book bin and bend the ends up. Now, as is, this caddy would certainly hold a lot, but I wanted to add another feature to hold even more items. Dollar Tree sells these clear plastic organizing drawers. Now we're going to use the outer portion of the drawer only, and you'll see that it has two rails on the underside. That's where we'll be attaching our E6000 glue, and that will be the surface that will directly adhere to your book bin. I made this caddy to match my flamingo decor but it would be so much fun to make these for all different summer occasions. I'm thinking especially of 4th of July, or if you had a luau outside or a birthday party or graduation, you could do these in all different colors and it would be so much fun. Once we have attached our acrylic drawers to either side of the caddy, it's time to fill it up with cups, napkins, and straws. If you love to garden, you really need to check out Dollar Tree's planters. Now, last year they featured these very large planters and at that time they were only a dollar. So of course I snapped up several of them with the hopes of transforming them and upscaling them. And this is one of those projects. So all I did was spray paint it with 2X black paint and then go over that rope design with some white chalk paint. You can use this as a pot, or as I've shown you here, you can use it as a really nice ice bucket. I will tell you that if you pot plants in it, you're going to need to double this pot up because it did crack halfway through the season when I put plants in it. So the plastic just is not sturdy enough for that. But if you wanna use it for an ice bucket, it is ideal with one of the Dollar Tree bowls set inside. Comment below and let me know if it is already too hot for you to go outside much or if you're enjoying being outdoors this time of year. Here's another outdoor decor DIY hack for you. If you have some old chairs that have seen better days but work just fine, try this Rust-Oleum 2X cover on them. Now, I have had great success, especially with mesh type seating. If you spray paint your stuffed cushions, they will come out kind of stiff. So I don't recommend it for that. But anything that is breezy, like this type of fabric, takes the paint really well. 
if you're like me and you have a separate pair of shoes just for the garden, this is a great, really quick and inexpensive idea to keep them in a, an adorable little holder. This shoe rack I purchased at Target in the dollar spot, and it's a little water table for children. But what's a spray painted to match your outdoor decor and you put a few rocks in there? It is an ideal holder for your outdoor shoes. I keep this right by my back door and I like to hose my shoes off with water and I know that they will get dry really quickly sitting on top of these rocks. We're gonna try another Flamingo Yard project. Now this one is really whimsical. So it would make a great centerpiece for a backyard party, or if you have someone who has a summer birthday or a baby shower, this would make a great little uh, showstopper for the yard. I started by sanding off the shiny finish of the flamingo and then simply spray painting her white. Next, I glued some white feathers all going in that same direction as the feathered pattern on the flamingo. Now you can bring in the color scheme of your party or whatever you're using this to decorate for. I chose peach and hot pink, so I'm gluing peach roses from Dollar Tree to her body. And then I'm gonna come back in and add some hot pink petals from Alay I purchased at Dollar Tree. If you're having fun watching this video, let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. We're going to let this flamingo's inner diva shine by attaching a fake eyelash from Dollar Tree. Now I just used one eyelash and cut it in half and attach it with glue gun on either side. Next, we'll add these pearls from Dollar Tree that I had in my stash to create a nice little pearl necklace. And my favorite part of her outfit is her silver crown, which I purchased in the party section at Dollar Tree. These come several to a pack. I added little pom-poms to the points of the crown and I cut it down so it fit her head perfectly. You may have noticed our two fur babies running around in the background. We have two long-haired dachshunds named Franklin and Bella, and they love to give a shout out to your pets. So if you have a pet who would like a shout out from Franklin and Bella in a future episode, leave their name below in the comment section. Charcuterie trays are all the rage right now, and I'm gonna show you how to make a super easy, super inexpensive one. You're going to need two standard size Dollar Tree frames, as well as two shower curtain rounds. Now we're gonna start by removing the backs from both of those frames. You'll also want to remove the glass. Now please be extremely careful with that glass. And also know that these frames are not very sturdy, so I recommend reinforcing them with some glue before you go any further. Next, I'm simply tracing some of that contact paper from Dollar Tree. You can use wrapping paper, you can use wallpaper, anything that you have that you just love the pattern of. Next, I'll add a little bit of E6000 around the inside edge of that frame, and then I'll place the glass and the contact paper inside. I'll remove all the metal attachments from the inside of that second frame. And now I'm using two small pieces of metal which I cut out from a baking sheet. We're going to attach these to those shower curtain rings to make handles on either side of this tray. And we're gonna sand sandwich those handles in between the bottom frame and the top frame. This tray isn't just great for a party, it would be also great for a summer birthday or gift. Imagine giving this with a few specialty crackers, meats and cheeses, who would not love to receive that? Mm -hmm. 
I recommend if you have any danger of water coming into contact with this tray that you use some clear caulk on the inside edge. If you're looking for a super simple DIY backyard decor project that adds a focal point, pick up two of these hanging baskets with chains and two cocoa core liners for them. Once you've done that, you can simply attach the bottom to the top basket. The chains on the sides of those baskets have little clips that are so easy to attach. And now you have a two-tiered planter that becomes a focal point for your backyard. The next project literally cost me just the cost of a can of spray paint. I found this plastic side table by the side of the road once again on trash day and spray painted it black on the outside, white on the underside. And then I simply copied the checkerboard pattern from a Dollar Tree checkerboard game. Now this step does take a little while, especially if you're like me and you're not great with geometry, but take your time and section off all these squares and then go ahead and paint them. The key to really crisp lines is to first spray paint the color of your design and then go back with white paint or whatever your contrast is and paint over that. The finished project is something you will love to spend time with. My last DIY decor idea for you is to click on the lemon decor DIY ideas that I have linked below. Now these are so on trend and will make your space look extremely high end for just pennies. Until we see each other next time, please don't forget Today is not the end of your story, so don't you give up. This is Shannon from Skip to My Life.